Welcome to the Liverpool Show with me, Megan Scully. It's absolutely honoured to be chatting to this lady. It's Lyra. How are you? I'm good. How are you keeping love? I'm so good. It's so good to have you here and welcome home. I know you're in Cork at the moment and uh, you're, you're in quarantine, as they say. Yeah, I am. It's so boring. I literally had to get my mom to drop like some of her makeup up to the front door because I couldn't even go out. I was like, I forgot to bring home makeup. And she was like, oh my God, I dropped my makeup bag outside the door. And now I've literally kicked her out again. She's like, oh my God. I know. It, it's so tough. I think as people kind of you know, people are like, oh, you just went to, into quarantine or going to isolation. It's like, yeah, but there's so much you kind of forget that you, you can't go anywhere. You're literally stuck inside yeah. the house. Literally stuck here. Like, I'm going to come out of this place like a different woman the amount I'm eating and drinking in here. Are you enjoying it, though? Is it nice to be back in Irish soil? It is, yeah. And it's lovely to be back in my own bed and yeah. just like a clear headspace and being writing some stuff while I'm here. So, and doing some virtual things as well, like over the internet and I get to chat to you as well. So, I mean, I can't complain, at least I have company. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, it's true. <laughs> virtual company is better, is just as good as like in real life company as well. Exactly, yeah. Now we were just saying there, you're based in Brighton, which is of course outside of London. I used to live in London a couple of years ago and I remember like when the sun was shining, everyone went to Brighton and it was brilliant. Yeah, it is grey crack there. Cause like you have the sea, you have the city and like the music industry there is fantastic like the amount of creative sound there is, is crazy it's such a good spot but the one thing like my friend said to me and she's we're going she goes okay you'll have to have fish and chips because you're in brighton and i was like brilliant mm -hmm. and she goes, we'll go sunbathing so i was like great and then i got there with my little towel and i went to lie out and i was like um, it's kind of uncomfortable like it's all stones and i was like is there any sand and then she's like no you just have to make yourself comfortable so I remember like spending most of the day trying to like make a little kind of like alcove for my back on the stones yeah you literally have to like shimmy your arse right in and just like stay there like do not move yeah and I was like I was like well, why does everyone love the beach here so much I was like there's no sand and then she was like I think it's just because there's so many pubs along the seafront that's why they love it <laughs> they're not really at the beach they're at the pub that's what <laughs> I do anyway <laughs> oh sure look it is so much crack and um, now we have to chat about the new single New Day because I know this is like pretty much self-produced and then the music video to accompany it so tell us about the track first so the track basically is um I kind of, I done it actually a while back and I just felt like now was like a really good time to kind of like get it out into the world. It got on um, a German advert from, um, from a company called Van Moof, which was like all about this new e-bike and like that, that, that's like new day dawning in their industry and stuff like that. And I suppose what we've all been through at the moment with like COVID and also other things going on in the world. Um, I just kind of was listening to it at home and I was like, you know what, it's time for me to to bring this out and show everyone and and kind of hopefully give them kind of that sense of light at the end of the tunnel because it, it makes me feel like that and listening to myself normally I'm allergic so like you know listening to this and feeling it I was like okay we need to take her out out of the cupboard <laughs> um so I done that and then the video I done myself which yeah. took me forever <laughs> and a day like my technical skills are shocking um, so, but I really wanted to challenge myself, like what better time now? Like, you know, I have a lot of time in my hands compared to what I was supposed to have this summer. So I said, I just throw myself into it and I made the music video and that's coming out on Friday, I think. So I'm excited for people to see it because, you know, I really wanted to get a lot in there about what is going on in the world at the moment and, you know, what struggles we're facing, what struggles that we've overcome. And, um, I hope anyway that I've kind of summed that up in the video. And where did you shoot the video? So a lot of it I've just like searched and searched and searched online for ages for like footage um, for like things on like, you know, free stockage and stuff like that. And I just clipped pieces out of it. And then I hired a videographer just to come to like this field with me for the day. I was like, OK, look, I just need you for two hours because I was scared to do a whole day because I don't know, I'm just a bit worried about meeting people at the moment. So um. I went up there with like three outfits, so like changing in the back of the car and coming out and be like, okay, now I'm going to do this. So if you can just film, film me doing it, then he sent me the whole footage and I just edited it into the video then. So that's kind of like how I've done it. I have to say, I love the white dress. I was like, oh, I love it. I know. I love it. I love it so much because like you can breathe out as much as you want <laughs> and have as much COVID kilos as you want because it's so baggy. I'm like, yes. <laughs> 
I know I'm here sitting here in skinny jeans and I'm like, oh, they're just a little bit, it's a little bit tight. And I'm like sitting down. I'm like, oh, and you just need to leave them open when I'm sitting. Yeah. Just go for it, girl. Just let it all hang out. <laughs> oh, stop. I know the crack of it. Now, I have to go back to this moment. I know I've heard you speaking about it before, but like, I just think it's, it's so cool every time I've heard this story about when you were sitting down with a cup of tea watching Love Island. Oh, my God. Yeah. And on your one comes, like, I was like, are they for real? Because obviously, Love Island, like, it's an addictive thing. Like, even if you don't like it at the start, like, you still tune in because you just can't get it out of your brain of what's going to happen. And then on Pops Falling, I was like, <laughs> okay, okay, we're going, we're going. It was amazing. I literally nearly died because I didn't know. I was like, <laughs> okay. I was, first of all, thinking somebody's I massively ripped off my song and I need to find them or it's going to be me. And then it turned out to be me. I was like, well, that's pretty fucking cool. So I was thrilled to myself. You're probably like, Wait, that sounds familiar. Hold on a second. Yeah. It must be like, so, like, because that, like, that season was massive and, like, everyone was sitting watching it. So, and I know afterwards, everyone was shazamming, like, people that didn't know the song were shazamming you. And it's like, oh my God, it was, it was like everyone was talking about it. It was class. Yeah. It was cool. Like, um, I was in England at the time and, like, even people, like, ringing me for interviews and stuff. And I was like, whoa, this is pretty awesome. <laughs> No, it was, it's so savage. And then of course, another song you involved in, we have to talk about it, is Irish Women in Harmony. Every time I hear that coming on, I just, I like, I get goosebumps. I'm like, oh, it's just, it's savage. Thank you. I know it's amazing. Like I nearly bawled my arse off and like, I've listened to it a lot. Like <laughs> even before it came out, I listened to it a lot. And then it came out and I listened to it even more. But like not only being a part of that, like amazing movement of, women coming together and empowering each other which like in the music industry a lot of people try and put us women against each other which is like really sad and like oh you're competing against this person and we're all in the frame of mind that we're not and we wanted to support each other and lift each other up and show each other's different talents and you know really come together as a unit and then also supporting safe ireland which is like for domestic abuse towards women which was something that we all felt really strongly about as Irish women to give back to these Irish women who don't have voices just to use our own to, to help them as much as we can and like what we raised was far more than I could ever imagine so you know Ruth Ann did put it all together like massive credit to her like when I got the message I was like yes I'm I'm in like no matter what I'm going to be there so um and we just have a really nice community now like we speak to each other on WhatsApp all the time we always support each other. Like if something happens, like we message each other and, and we get advice or like, you know, we tell each other to look out for things or like stuff like that. It's like, it's more than just a song. Like I know it's going around saying it's more than just a song, it's a movement, but it really is. And I'm just honored to be one of the Irish women in it. I really am. I know and Ruth Ann said in the Late Late Show about an album. So I just was like, as soon as I heard that, I was like, oh wow, I cannot wait for that because I know it's just going to be a collection of unbelievable tracks. It's going to be so juicy. I got the email the other day and I was like, juicy! <laughs> no, it is. It's so, so good. And that's the only thing I love about the Irish music industry there and, and how supportive everyone is because I chat to, I've chat to quite a few of the girls that have been on it and, you know, various artists over the years and everyone is just actually genuinely like wants to help each other out, which I love. And like everyone kind of mm. tries, as you said, people kind of try to put this whole against each other comparison competition thing. In yeah. The well, actually, no, it's like they, they, everyone just likes to work together. And it's like, you know, genuinely, they're all sound. Exactly. And like, you know, you look at the Irish women and Harmony lineup, and there's not one of us that is the same. So I don't know why people com would compare us anyway. And, you know, we're all fine with that. We're like, you know what, we're awesome women. Compare me to any of these women and I'd be honoured. So it's no snake skin off our back. So I'm, yeah, I'm thrilled. I love them to death. I really do. Yeah, it's absolutely class. Another thing I want to chat about is I know you were a fan of Van Morrison. It was his birthday recently and I know you yeah. did some of his covers there for Hot Press. Um, tell me about growing up, maybe listening to Van. It was kind of through my dad. So like my dad used to listen to him a lot. And um, in my dad's house, we used to have, my bedroom was across the way from my dad's bedroom. So at nighttime, he put on Van and we'd both just leave our doors open and just like, that would be us. Like, night, like, night. And listen, like, brown eyed girl. I'm like, cool, see ya. And it kind of like always had like that kind of childhood memory. So when the guys approached me and asked me if I do it, I was like, great. I love taking other people's songs and like recreating them and reimagining them into my own style. And 
you know, it's, it's so much fun. So to be able to do that, um, I was like, great. And I picked a new kind of man. I was like, I need one. So I mean, why not pick that one? <laughs> Now, I said, um, I did say to you before we went on the chat, I'm based in Limerick. You're no stranger to Limerick. I know you played Dolan's there. When was that now? It was, um, I, I'm pretty, the way time is going, I never know what, what was something like six months ago or was I it? Know. I'm the same. It was just before lockdown. Yeah, it was. So it was probably was like in January? April, I think. Was that January, February? I don't know. I can't <laughs> even remember and I was there. I was like literally having an outer body experience on stage. I didn't know who I was. <laughs> I played tag rugby down here and I'm pretty sure pretty everyone that plays tag rugby was at the gig because it was like oh it, yeah everyone's playing tag rugby everyone, who's going to lyra who's going to lyra who's going to lyra it's like yeah, yeah yeah we're all going to lyra so actually it was just like class like like that's one thing about dolan's and limerick it's so supportive when there's like someone coming to town like we turn up oh yeah you do and you did and i absolutely loved it i mean i felt like i was just like singing to friends there was like chatting away in between songs it's like somebody say something i'm like yeah i know a girl or like oh my boots they're from here they're from there i was like oh this is hilarious but like so soothing for an artist to be able to get on stage and feel so comfortable in somewhere that's not your hometown and I had never played there before so I was like oh please god they like it now so you know I do have to thank everyone from Limerick making me feel amazing on stage I came out thinking I was Beyonce I was like yes I am <laughs> oh I tell you we can't wait to have you back here anyways that's for sure <laughs> you're great now, of course, we don't, we don't know when gigs are going to happen again, but what, Lyra, what is the plan maybe in the short term for you? So I'm currently, even through um, this whole... Oh, well, I'm currently choking, actually, at the moment. <laughs> but, uh, other than that, um, I'm working on an album at the moment. I do have to do it all like by emails and stuff like that, which is slowing down the process. But the songs are written. I'm doing some producing with some guys from LA that have recently just done the Lady Gaga album, album and Rain On Me with Ariana Grande. So it's very exciting. And I am promising people that there will be new, oh, my oh. phone's gone black. Oh, oh there, we're oh, back. back. <laughs> <laughs> um, there will be new music out uh, soon. So that's okay. what I'm working on anyway. I can't wait. And also, I, as I said, I know we can't, we're saying we can't mention gigs, but 2021, you have been announced for Leeds and Reading. I do. I do. Yeah, that is announced. And there's a few others that have rebooked that just haven't been announced yet. So I plan on hitting the road big <laughs> time next year. I'm like anywhere that wants to book me. I'm like, yeah, I'll be there. I'll be oh, there. Yeah. I'll be there. Oh, there's going to have, like festivals are going to have to happen like seven days a week now. They can't be just like weekends. We need to make up for this summer. So like, oh, yeah. like Monday to Friday, all weekend, everything. We're in, we're in. I'm like, here's me, like, festival gore, but like, yeah, seven days a week, and like, you guys and your voices, I'm like, you'll have to like, figure out a way to like, have quick <laughs> recuperation. Yeah. We'll all have to start miming by the end of like, <laughs> I'm shy at that, I wouldn't be able to do it anyway. I'd say, Lyra, I've been listening to music for the last few days because I knew we were going to chat and everything, I just love your sound, I just like, it's so unique as well, it's like, like you, there, there's no one even out there that you can compare you to because you, your voice is just, it's you, it's Lyra and you hear it and you're like, that's Lyra and even when I'm in the car and the song, I go, if I'm change station midway and I'm just like, it just, there's something about your voice as well. It's so powerful. It's also, I find really empowering. Thank you. Thank you. That's very, very nice to hear. I don't know, I have to say, like, I'm here going, I'm like, you're fangirling. Um, <laughs> um, before I let you go, I do have to ask, when you're away from Cork, what do you miss the most? What? Well, I would normally say Barry's tea, but I literally get it sent over by my mum <laughs> all the time. I'm a massive Barry's tea drinker. Yeah. The butter as well. Kerrygold. Yeah. I love Kerrygold butter. And you can get it in England, but like, there's nothing like being at home. And the water when you have tea in Ireland is definitely different because tea tastes better over here than over in England. Yeah. And a good point of Guinness. I love Guinness <laughs> and it's shocking over there. So... Guinness is like a have to for me. Yeah, it is hard to get good Guinness in the UK unless you're yeah. kind of, if you, unless you can find an old school Irish pub that's kind of yeah. Irish lads that maybe, you know, know how to pull a pint of Guinness. Exactly, yeah. I'm like, take your time. Take <laughs> your time. I will. They're be. like, all right, girl. <laughs> um, Lyra, for those who um, aren't following you, where can we find you on social media? So all my social medias are at This Is Lyra and also I have a website that is just www.lyra.ie. That's new. Yeah, I feel so fancy with a website. 
I said now uh, we have your music video called for New Day coming out soon. We cannot wait to see it in full. Of course, self-produced and everything. I know it's going to be amazing. And thank you so much for chatting to us on the Liverpool Show. Oh, thanks a million for having me. Honestly, you've been such great support. I wouldn't be anywhere else. And hopefully next time we'll be chatting, we'll either be in Dolan's or in a studio somewhere. Yeah, and I won't have a face full of my mom's makeup and my mom's jump front, so <laughs> I'll be a bit more glam for you. <laughs> Lyra, it's an absolute pleasure. Take care, Sloan. Thanks, sweetheart. Bye, love. Bye.